It's two weeks to the Disco Kid competition, and specialist dressmakers all over the country are working flat out on costumes for the children. Take off the feathers. Clasp is too tight at the back, so that just needs altering. Designs are kept top secret for fear that other competitors might steal them. Which one was Hayley's? Was it the blue one? Yeah. OK. If we were to send them early, the chances are people will get to hear about them and a little leak could come out as to what they're going to be wearing, which has happened in the past. On average, Janine's costumes cost £900. Today, she's putting the finishing touches to reigning champion Cara's costume. Nobody in a suit like Cara's at DK. Janine also designs for Cara's dance rival, Orla. Orla is really very petite. I think that's why she's always had the big hair, just to build her up and make her look bigger. But she needs a big headpiece because when she walks out on the floor, she needs to be seen, definitely. But in Northern Ireland, Orla's had a setback. She's damaged her ankle. That looked a little bit like a cocktail stick trying to pierce through. The hospital advised that she have a few days off dancing and rest it. It actually feels grand. Still sore. Still sore a bit. Ah, there. There, sore. I'm no doctor, but I can definitely feel the swelling has went down. Definitely. So, I think you'll be grand. What do you think? Yeah. To raise her spirits, Pauline's posted Orla a good luck message on a forum used by Disco Kid Mums. Good luck, Orla. Can't wait for this company. You haven't been able to dance since last week, so here's hoping your foot will be well rested and ready for the camp on Sunday. Love you millions, Mum. These 11 people have replied, actually 12 now, someone else has just replied. Nearly everybody knows everybody in the freestyle world. There's not many people that you wouldn't know. And do you go on the, and read it yourself? Are you allowed to go on the internet yourself? Or? Yeah, but I don't really go on the internet. It may sound sad, but it's the only social life I have. I don't go out, don't go anywhere, only dancing. And if there's a competition that comes up, regardless of where it is, if I can afford it, me and Orla will be there. So we have fun, don't we? Yeah. In Sussex, Training has also taken its toll on nine-year-old Clemmie. She's hurt her back just ten days before the final competition. She sort of twisted a bit funny quite quick and she was caught when she was upset because it was really hurting us. Every time Clemmie is injured, Tori takes her to her osteopath. I really appreciate it. And that's a sweep. And it's a turn your hips. When I did like a back bend or walk over or anything to do with my back it hurted but then um, as I got to do like more back stuff it started hurting even when I was sitting down like this. It's always a way though isn't it when you've got a big competition coming up that something's bound to happen and when it does it sort of you think oh no you know why me and but that's life isn't it so you just got to get on with it. A little pelvis was out. Most people would have a week away from their sport or whatever yeah. after they've done a, a small injury like that. But, you know, with Clemmie, we've got to keep her going because mm -hmm. the show's got to go on. Yeah. So. These kids, they really, they really do put their little bodies through it. We've been only in the lesson about five minutes warming up and she was like, it's killing me. I always check the AC joints on Clemmie because very often she'll pull this joint out. Thanks for that. Thanks. Okay, no worries. Right, come on, you. Because I've got to get you back to this lesson. Steve said that if it wasn't such an important time in the dancing calendar, he'd suggest that she would have some time off of dance just to let her body um, heal. But he does realise that we can't do that. We hopefully now we're sorted and maybe we won't have any more problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's just days before the competition. Hello, darling. Mm, that's my girl. Billy's grandmother has come from Yorkshire to help with the final preparations. We've got a new tan and need to try it on her arms. Right. Because of eczema. 
The ADFP have said that the oil-based tans can no longer be used. It literally wipes off, so when you've got white walls, I think organisers are losing venues for comps. Doesn't help me when I've got a child with eczema. <laughs> right, come on, Titch, stand here and we'll just put a little bit on your arms and see how we go on with it. That bit of Billy's arm really flares up. And that bit. Nearly every time stinks when I put it on first, but like, after a while it calms down, but then sometimes I just, like, need to itch it. Squidge, squidge, squidge your Squidge it in. So we just dab some on in. See how we go. See how we go with it. And it's a bit patchy. See, when it goes on, it's, it really sticks to the, the eczema area. Else. Shall we try the other one on the other arm? See, that that's looks lighter, nice, isn't that? That's lighter, isn't that? It doesn't look like pink. <laughs> That one's stinging in slightly, but then that one's like just gone straight on That's just thing. gone straight on it and stuck to us. I, I don't think that one will work for her. Why don't you just not wear any tan and then you wouldn't itch at all? Like everybody in my section is like standing It's just out. part of it, isn't uh -huh. it? It's part of the whole and package. And it's quite fun as well. Probably Obviously, fun. everybody turned up with no tan then. I they'd all okay. look, they'd all look okay because they'd all look the same. But Can I wash that off because I don't like it? Yeah, unfortunately it's part of it. In the final run-up to the competition, the children are training hard. They must prepare a solo routine, which they can only perform if they make it to the grand final. Can I? I want a stretcher. Stand straight against the wall. Move your head. Oh, I got pain. Ah, Mum. Yeah? Yeah, done. The routine is a carefully guarded secret as it's the girls' chance to impress the judges with their unique moves. That's it. That's it. The reason why it doesn't go out beforehand is because there is people that sort of steal your moves. So you come from there, you come straight up faster. I can't do it from times. Can you not? No. Try. It's just a bend and a push. Yeah, no, you can do better than that. But you know what you're doing, you just don't want to do it. Do it again, but you need to flip quicker. I've worked hard, but not as hard as I normally do. I have on and off days, and today is probably an off day. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> it sometimes bothers me because um, sometimes I don't like it when my mum shouts at me, but when um, I'm doing good, I really like it when my mum likes it. You strive for, for the best for, for your kids. I, I don't want my kids to be spoiled. I want my kids to grow up and realise that everything's not handed on the plate, that they have to work at everything. I lived in a two-bedded council house all my life. Eventually, when I did buy my own house, I bought a little two-up, two-down, and gradually we sort of moved along the ladder. But I do truly believe there is discipline. I won't have my kids speak to me rudely, and I expect my kids to help out at home. They have all set jobs, so it works well for us. Anna, mm -hmm. it's here. <laughs> In Glasgow, Cara's costume for the final has arrived. It's the first time she's seen it. That's lovely, That's mad. That's crazy, it's lovely though. The head goes through like that, and then my legs go through these wee talking bits. <laughs> it's lovely, I absolutely love it. Look at like the, the, the stocking yeah. bits in it, and everything all wearing them, like with the, and then the stockings come up the front, but it's tights. But they're really cool. Do you ever think like the costumes are too grown up? Well, no, I don't, I don't think they're too grown up. I mean, they're the style. The Cara's always been in, like, Janine's always made Cara suits and they're like, really, really up to date. Mm. People see them in swimming with their bikinis on, but like, I think it's a lot worse. Mm -hmm. With their costumes perfected, tan chosen and routines finalised, the disco kids are about to descend on Blackpool for tomorrow's competition. Orla, you've got to realise this is your last comp in under ten. Try your best to go out with a bang. Hello. 
The last time Orla competed in Blackpool, she was rushed to hospital with a severe stomach upset. Hopefully we'll get her whole stay this time. Yes, how are you feeling? Hi. Good. <laughs> She's feeling a lot, lot better, thank God. So I'm not going to be running you to the hospital this time? Then. Definitely not. Good. Definitely <laughs> not. Orla's had quite a few illnesses over the last year or so. Um, I find about a week or two before competition, Orla always takes sick. Is it the same room? Yeah. I took her to the doctors. Yeah. They kept saying to me they thought it was stress related. And I was going to them, she's nine, how can she possibly be stressed? And they were saying to me that you don't realise before a child has a competition of any sort, it's like an athlete, their adrenaline gets a lot faster than it normally is. This time we're here and we're hopefully bringing back the silverware. Yeah. At the minute she's got a kidney infection, which she's on an antibiotic for, but as I told her, she doesn't dance with her kidneys, she dances with her feet. Yeah. 